Levine in 2013. Or, or strong decisions in 2013. <laughs> there you go. Either one works. Uh, we are Joby Wife, and uh, we're going to do some long form for you. In order to get started, can we please get a word of phrase to inspire us? Rednecks. Rednecks. Thank you. Rednecks. Rednecks. The jar term. For, for uh, uh, white southerners and, yeah. and, and folks maybe who work outdoors. Sure. <laughs> with shirts on, but, but necks exposed. I, I, am, I am white, in case you didn't realize that. And I am, I'm from the South, you didn't know that. Uh, but my family is not. So I was the first and only Texan in my family. I like to say as a kid that I was made in New York and then I was born in Texas. And, and it, was a, it, it was a strange thing because like I, growing up I considered myself a Texan um, and now that I don't live there, it's it's a weird it's it's a weird. I always felt outside of like the other Texans because I just didn't have the same sort of traditions that they did. You know, and I, didn't I have an accent like between either. apartments and, and, and dorm rooms and stuff when I was in college. And um, you had to clean other people's dorm rooms. Yeah, I had to clean other people's <laughs> dorm rooms. Oh, and no. you get like the sh the shit they left behind, and and you just like it was like treasure, but you kind of treated shitty because it wasn't your stuff. So one summer, um, I found. Uh, a, a cast iron cornbread pan in the shape of the state of Texas. And that is my ashtray for the rest of the summer. I think Kathy Ireland is the most beautiful woman who has ever lived. I bought a Kathy Ireland bag once at Kmart. <laughs> I had a picture of Kathy Ireland. I would cut out pictures of uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit models and Victoria's Secret models, and I'd paste them to the ceiling of my uh, bedroom when I was going through I puberty. I flashed my lights and honked at a car from Texas today. <laughs> I was a building manager here in Hollywood, and I had to go in with some uh, maintenance men, and there was a pickle barrel, and they wouldn't, they, they were like, come over here, come over here, and I wouldn't go over, then I went over, and there was a cat that had been soaking in, and like, it was dead, it was not like, like, being made, but it was a dead cat that the tenant had placed in this pickle barrel with some kind of chemical solution. In I'm no assuming that it died, then he put it in there. Uh, really during my it. college career, I had three different cardboard cutouts of Kathy Iron. <laughs> uh, never at the same time, because I'm the nurse. Before I moved out uh, of my mother's house, we had 18 different cats. 18? <laughs> wow. How many at once? Um, two. And, and how many in pickle barrels? <laughs> Evidently a lot. <laughs> You know the cat, the cat, the cat lady thing is true. Like women that have lots of cats. Well, like the scientists, uh, they're they're positing that the reason why cat women are crazy is because there's there's this special virus uh, that's in in that's you know he knows about this. You know what I'm talking about. That's in the kitty litter and the poop. And the only way that humans can transmit it is is through cats. And like it's a brain, it's a neuro. An outdoor cat. But it's, seriously, it'll make you go crazy. So if you have a lot of cats, you're more likely to have this virus in the kitty litter and go insane. God, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> crazy like a redneck. <laughs> you got a lot of gall, gumption, and gut showing your face around here, boy. Well, Tex, I was just coming, coming by to apologize. Yeah. Yeah, I'd assume that'd be the reason why you show up. You got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> like, well, okay. Uh... Guess who showed up? I was just telling Tex here, Bill, that, that I just came by to apologize to you folks. Terry B. Stevenson showed up. <laughs> I, I, I did not mean any disrespect, Tex or Bill, or to any of the McCaslin family for my, my flippant tone earlier today. You what? What? I don't speak French, I don't speak Greek, and I don't speak Chinese. But I don't understand the word that began with the F and ended with the T in that sentence. Well, I, I appreciate your recognition of my mother's heritage, but the, the thing is this. The thi Maybe I should just let things stand, huh? I didn't invite you to sit. Well, no, I meant, I meant, I, I thought I, 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 I am scared of you. I've always been scared of you. This whole town is scared of you. You weren't scared of what you did with when you did it. I was just, I thought it was silly times. The very idea of you two being gay lovers, even though you're brothers, I... <laughs> uh -huh. Now here's the thing about it. I didn't say that a second time. Here's the thing about it. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. TBS. Yes, you did. TBS. Terry B. Stevenson. <laughs> 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 
getting my own initials. Are you? Are you? I'm sorry, Tex. I'm sorry, Phil. That's all we wanted to hear. A simple word. I did it. A simple word. I did it. I did it. I did it. Look, I just, I feel really bad about it, but I cheated on you, and it's, it's, you know, it's really, it's because of the hummingbird feeder. Uh, <laughs> what? Look, I feel really bad, but it's got, like, the chemicals in it or something. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're going to have to draw this line a little more explicitly, because <laughs> I don't see how you can go from... The hummingbird feeder to fucking Gary across the street. <laughs> I didn't know that that was why at the time that I did it. It just like now it has come to light through research. I read a, a blurb in Time magazine. A blurb in Time magazine. Yeah. A blurb in Time magazine. Yeah. A blurb in Time magazine yeah. gave you justification to to. No, to I know did it after that. <laughs> So you didn't know that it was no, that until... No, I, I, I didn't know the effect... It doesn't make it, it any better, it. Carol! It doesn't make it any easier! <laughs> Look, I, I'm i sorry. I'm, I'll am i make an appointment with the counselor. You don't, you don't seem very upset about this. I am, I, mean, I am, but I, I, you know, I know the reason why now, so... Oh, so now there's a biological reason, so therefore you don't have any accountability in the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. What? Uh. <laughs> this bird feeder? Yeah. And then it's some kind of chemical that you read about in Time Magazine and it made you go over and fuck Gary? Yeah. Why Gary? Huh? Why not Ted down the street? Huh? Or the mailman? Carol! <laughs> Say that again? You're a really great guy, and I hope this doesn't affect our marriage. Why are you talking story? to me like we've been dating for three years or for three months and we're 18 years old? Because, you know, I these actions that I did, I figured that they would that we'd be done. But now I know why. And I just hope that you'll forgive me. Clean it up, freshman. <laughs> Clean it up, freshman. Oh, I, look, I. Listen, you want you want to be a part of this uh, this dormitory? You're gonna have to fucking clean it up. Hey, freshman. <laughs> freshman, you gonna clean it up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one gets into Stroud Hall without cleaning it up. That's oh, right. Can I just have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys intentionally? Drink to the point of puking just to have us come and clean up your vomit? That's our prerogative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stroud Hall way. Stroud Hall does as Stroud Hall does. I would consider this hazing. Oh! Oh! oh the what? H word! Excuse you! Whoa! <laughs> Excuse you. you! You consider this hazing? Yeah. One of the rules of Stroud Hall is you can't say the H word. <laughs> I, I, freshman, I, freshman, yeah. drop it, give us 20. Uh, there are other places you could live. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of places. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. no Not no, girl no, push -ups. No, no, no. Not girl push ups. No, real I can't push -ups. do real ones. You can't oh. do real push ups. I've never done one, a single one in my life. I have another question. <laughs> can I take on some of her push ups so we work as a team and bond in an inappropriate way? Uh. <laughs> Sounds like the beginning of an unorthodox relationship, but I'll allow it. All right. Thank you. Look, I'm going to do 10 real ones, and you do 20 girl ones. I think okay. that's going to even out. Okay. I always wanted to live in Stroud Hall. Me too. My mom and my dad met in Stroud Hall. Yeah? Yeah. Well, my uncle and his cousin met in Stroud Hall. <laughs> they didn't know that they were related until they came to Stroud Hall. Uh, 
Yeah, they became the best of friends. They go fishing all the time. Did you know that Stroud Hall was made of the bones of 10,000 Indians? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Quit bonding freshmen and start cleaning. Oh, and get this weed smell out of the air, too. That's right. Open a window and use some Febreze. Because it reeks of bud in here. I have another question. Why don't you guys get high before you get drunk or before you vomit? Hey, don't tell you. us how to use our drugs! All right. <laughs> I'm gonna rush her so that I can just check in my, my rental car and uh, just get out of here. Okay. Uh, oh, first time in Catlinsburg? I will not. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm, I'm gonna rush and. Uh, Tell me, what was your favorite part about old Catlinsburg? Uh, well, I, I was visiting uh, some some family property. Oh, family family I used to have time. a family. None of them talk to me anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry to hear that. But I, I I have to get that plane. That plane. Oh, we all gotta get somewhere. <laughs> Right, but I, I have to get back to New York City. This is... Ah, the Big Apple! Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Great banana! White way made of tusks. Oh, the cookies are done! Oh! Just made a new friend here. What was your name again? Uh, my, my name is Bill uh, Habermere. Well, Bill, would you like some fresh meat chocolate chip cookies? No, because I have to get on a plane right now. So oh, I just want to... oh, you can stop for a cookie. Come hey, on, yeah. it's sweet and salty at the same time. The two S's that go together in a way that's appropriate. The secret is a little hint of vanilla extract. Oh, Don't sit too much. <laughs> I love sweet and salty, so I'll, I'll take one, okay? This is really kind of you, but I need to get going. How was the ride? Uh, the, the ride here from, from the... Hello, Gladys! <laughs> How are you? Do you need to check your rental car, too? Do you need to get out of here as well? Oh, yeah, I gotta go down and get some groceries today. Uh, oh! my car, so well, take a taxi. Tell us every item you have to get uh, at the grocery uh, store. <laughs> my keys could go to her, and I could get on the plane. Is there, is there anything I have to need to sign or anything? That... Slow down a second, Tomato son. Tomato sauce. <laughs> This is a really good cookie, and you guys are the best, and I... Glad you like it. What's, what, what's you tasting in that cookie? The sweet and the, the oh, salty. Oh, you know what? It's no good unless you got some milk to dunk it in. I'm going to go in the back and get you. Oh, oh, boy. Tuna in olive oil, not water, because I'm living on the edge today. Oh, Gladys is living on the edge. What is that? Gladys is living on the edge. All right. You know, Gatlinsburg <laughs> is a city on the edge of it all. I know, on the edge of nothing. I need to go. Well, 50 years ago, they shut down the textile plant. They shut it down. And that's where my, my great-grandfather used to work. Your great-grandfather yes. used to work in a textile plant. Yeah, yeah. Your great-grandfather. Right, right, but listen, I have to get on the plane. What was his name? Ike? You. Oh, you. Ike Habermere. Look like Ike Habermere. Ike oh, Habermere? Yeah. I didn't put two to two together because well, I'm not good at math. No, every time I ask him to put two to two together, he gives me I, three. I can call you. We could, we could talk on the phone about my, my, my family's I don't have a phone. <laughs> I came from here. It was the greatest and worst thing that ever happened to Catherine. I'm trying to take it out of Catherine. What? I, I, look, this is really fascinating. I, maybe I'll come back next summer, okay? I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, next summer. We'll, we'll, we'll meet right I mean. I have time. You're not going anywhere until you explain what your old grandpappy did to this town. What do you mean what he did to this oh, town? Oh, I'm on to you, Ike Jr., the third, or whatever yeah, well, you are. I go by Bill, but yeah. Oh, Bill. Look, all I know is that he sold the mill, and he took the profits and mailed it north. That's all I know. I don't know why. Well, that's such a, I, well, I guess I guess that is a big deal to you folks. I'm it's sorry. a huge deal. I had dreams. I had wishes. You think I want to go run a nice mom and pop car rental company in Kettlesburg? Look at these pictures in my wallet. Oh, take a look. They're wonderful. <laughs> this one, that's Ike's. No way. That's yeah. right. Oh, my. That's your, that's your. That's really, can I take, I'll just, I'll just do a little snap. Oh, what's point. happening? Oh. I'm just taking a picture. I'm just, I'm just, your grandfather ruined this town. And you're going to pay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to miss my plane. Look, that's how I'm going to pay it. We can't talk about Lucky for me, I'm lucky for you. Glad this is pod gypsy. <laughs> I got him. I already got him hooked up to the radiator. He's already... What? Staying. We're going to put a radiator hex on you. <laughs> a radiator hex.
hair looks awful nice today. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. I woke up this morning, I looked out on the hay, and it was as golden as your heart. <laughs> you always know the right thing to say. And you make it so hard for me to stay mad at you. <clears throat> Sometimes it's nobody's fault the way what they were made. <laughs> I know. I ain't ashamed. I feel like when God made you, he had a Play-Doh kit. <laughs> he used that Play-Doh kit and he made the finest Play-Doh toy that ever was. It was you. It was alive. Text, Bill. I, I, well, well, well. I think I try, try walk in on it. I, I can go. I'll, I'll see myself. All right. No, please. Come on in. I'm sorry. I'm Just a couple of relatives enjoying each other's company while whittling. <laughs> you want to apologize again? Third time's a charm? Yeah, please, please. You're sure not, Bill. Because the light catches it better that way. <laughs> His chest hair, I mean. I'm sorry I walked in. I just, I just wanted to say again, I hope there's no hard feelings and, 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 and all the, 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 the... I told everyone down at the, the, the general store that I was a, a, a way out of line. And I'm, I'm sorry. You're a homophobe. Plain and simple. That's what it is. Sometimes that which, which we hate the most, we love the most secretly. <laughs> see, you see two brothers in touch with their masculinity and their feelings, and you automatically assume that they're homophobic because you, my friend, are not comfortable with your own masculinity. Or so I heard. I guess you're right. I mean, I am somewhat divorced from my manliness. If that's what you'd say. No one's talking about marriage. <laughs> I'm talking about feelings. And I don't understand your highfalutin French heritage and your strange calic <laughs> and your phone won't got no numbers on it. And your pants don't need no belt. They just fit right naturally on the waistline. They're bonobos. <laughs> I've never been to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys got a real... Maybe I have something to learn from you, too. I'm sorry. Thank you. Could you please change my bag? <laughs> I just, it, it's, you know, it, it, my actions were beyond me. They weren't. Your action. So the chemicals in the dog bowl yeah. compelled you well, to put rat compelling. poison. It's not magic, in... it's, a, it's science. <laughs> All I want, Carol, is for you to start taking responsibility for your action. Uh, I don't think you love me! And I don't think it has to do with the chemicals in our everyday objects. <laughs> there, I said it. Thank you. There. I have also felt that I don't love you. <laughs> but yes. you have to give me this. The dog bowl. Don't stop me the dog bowl! 
it's just that there's the paint they use to write those little dog bones on the side and that little cartoon dog and the word dog are toxic. And over time, I didn't love you anymore. So this is it? No! Because... Because... Because you don't want to take responsibility for your actions. No, it's not me. It's the dog bowl. Yes. It's the bird feeder. Thank you. It's the upholstery on the chairs. That was bad. Well, you know what? It's a stain repellent that they pre-treat it with, they found out. <laughs> Come with me, Carol. <clears throat> There's nothing in here, right? Right. No chemicals, it's unpainted, completely untreated. Now what we're both gonna do is we're gonna take off all of our clothes oh. and put them outside. Okay. Outside, we're gonna shut the door and now you're gonna stare at me okay. and you're gonna decide how you feel. I did put some mothballs in the attic. Oh! I can smell them from here. Yeah. Sophomores! Yeah. You want to be in Stroud Hall for another year? Clean up that vomit. Can I just ask a quick question? Yeah. Uh, Can I have some questions? We've lived here for a year now. You know all the legends that we heard? Yeah. There's, there's very little evidence to indicate that they're true. <laughs> I haven't seen one ghost. I haven't seen one Indian bone. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen any streaking. I've seen no frescoes of my cousin and his uncle <laughs> leaning down in the basement <laughs> or graffiti. I took a Greek, you know, art class, whatever. I haven't seen a hidden bowling alley. Okay! Fine. We just wanted some people to be in our house with us. This is a good dorm and no one wants to live here. So we made up some stories. Can you blame us? Yeah. What? What? Well, yeah, you made up the stories, you said. Yeah! Just looking for new people, new blood. All right, all right. I made up the story, okay? It's not true. Your great-grandfather had nothing to do with the textile plant shutting down. I just wanted to meet some new people. Hey, just, just, you know, I'd unchain you from this radiator. I might still be able to make the... Uh, all right, I know the right. plane left an hour ago. Take me with you. Please, take me with you. Uh, you want to go to New York? I want to leave Gatlinsburg. The Big Apple, the Big Banana, the whatever you call it? The Great Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but who's gonna who's gonna rent cars? Oh, uh, who cares? Party? They rent themselves. Really? Everybody has a but, car now, right in their pocket. It does ten things. But, but, but who's gonna take care of it? Gladys, yeah. she can come too. Where are we going? To New York. Oh, the big banana, the great apple, the ivory way. But okay. I've always wanted to go to New York. But what if I take you there, right? And then years from now, your your grandchildren come to this Gatlinsburg, and then they get accused of of, of stealing new people from this town. Gladys is married, and I bite you and don't talk to me. So what are we going to just say here? Fuck you, Gatlin. We're going to get out of here. Look at my pictures in my wallet again of my grandchildren. All right. They clearly cut out of magazines. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I should have said earlier. Okay, let's go. To the plane. To the plane. To the plane. You need to wait. You can't go very fast. But to the plane. To the plane. Hang on now. Slow down. You can't go Wait fast up. either. Slow down. All right. We're never going to make it. I hope I don't have to take my shoes off for security. There's no security. Man. I've got bunnies that look like a coral reef. Me too. We're never gonna get it out of here, are we? Never. I'm stuck here. Yeah. Yes. This is your radiator this hacks, is the isn't closet. it? closet. Right in there. Take, take me into the closet. You have to stare at us naked and tell us how you feel about us. <laughs> I smell mothballs. There's a milk. <laughs> Taking that 
a saber out anyway. <laughs> Terry B. Stevenson? In the flesh? What are you doing at the reunion? Well, you know, I just want to kind of set the record straight and let everyone know I got back in touch with the man inside. Oh, your masculinity. Yeah. We always talked about that in school. We really? always said TBS is not in touch with this. Did you even call me TBS back then? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, all the girls oh, did. God, I would have felt so cool. Well. Yeah, I got in touch with my masculinity. You were just so out of touch with your masculinity. It was like, how could we even tell you? Oh, are yeah. we're hiding it out? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow, TBS. great to see it, TBS. You can call me many things, Phil. But not in touch with my emotions ain't one of the things you can't call me. It's true, it's true. You wouldn't think so to me in that first blush, but it's absolute facts. People might think that because I'm from a small town in the elbow end of a backwards butt state. Oh, I didn't think you looked familiar. I think you went yeah, to Yeah, you'd with think that. he's a redneck, wouldn't you? Yeah. But that's a hurtful term. Would you call me? No, I'm just saying. What did you call him? No, I'm, 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 no, I'm just let me apologize. I'm, I'm just saying you would have thought that. I know it's a hurtful term. And it, 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 it's scary. my punch. <laughs> oh, jeez, guys. Come on, we've been through this before. You got a thing or two to no, learn. No, I don't. Mean, I don't. Mean, I don't. Mean, I don't mean, I Huh? Bill, Tex, look, I'm just saying that that's how we would have thought. It would have all sorts of stereotypes and preconceived notions about you guys, but it's not true at all. Look how much you helped me. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right, bring it. <laughs> <laughs>